Okay, so here's the deal. If you guys don't know already, here's some hip hop history. Did you know that Wendy Williams, back when she first started out DJing, when she was only like 21 years old, she was approached and offered a position, a very interesting position in hip hop history. She was asked to be the DJ for Salt and Pepper, the original Spinderella. Can you believe that? Now, the beautiful woman on your screen, thankfully, ended up being the DJ for Salt and Pepper. She ended up being Spinderella. I mean, could you imagine if Wigasaurus over here, Miss Wendy Biggerfoot Williams, the side squash of talk show hosts, that old big ass linebacker bit? Could you imagine if Wendy Williams was the DJ for Salt and Pepper? How ridiculous that shit would have looked. Oh my sweet lord, thank God that fine ass woman on your screen ended up being the DJ for Salt and Pepper. All I know is Spinderella was always the finest one. I mean, oh my lord. Did you see what she used to look like back then? Oh my god. Anyways, let me sit my thirsty self down before I fuck around and pass out. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at meat magazine click the link below to visit my blog to see the video of wendy talking about it i just had to tell you guys about this for the people who did not know you know if you see the video for yourself there's more information there but all jokes aside do you think wendy would have made a good dj do you think she would have done a good job with salt and pepper who would you prefer wendy or the woman on your screen who ended up being the dj for the group let me know below meat magazine